There is a new phenomenon sweeping across the country that will allow you to save money. On your side, consumer reporter Jen Strathman shows you why so many consumers are missing the opportunity. Well, the technology started out in a car manufacturing plan as a way to keep track of parts making its way into businesses. Now it's making its way into businesses you visit on a daily basis, and it's saving consumers money. Have you ever seen anything like that? No. It's a sign that's attracting attention as people try to figure out what it means. It must be some kind of maze or puzzle. If I stand here, I'd figure it out. Let me give you a clue. You can solve the puzzle with your smartphone. Ah, all right, okay, now it makes sense. Welcome to the world of quick response technology, better known as QR codes. It's a barcode that contains information left to right and top to bottom as well, so it's a two-dimensional barcode. When you scan the code with your smartphone, you get a quick response. You're taken to a data-rich website that should reveal valuable information. A coupon, a discount, a freebie, some added benefit for actually having scanned that code. Michael Ballas is trying to sell businesses on this new marketing tool. It's a tool companies can use for a variety of reasons. North Coast Wine and Beer uses their QR code to feature monthly specials, and the Cleveland Museum of Art uses QR codes for promotions. When you scan this code, an audio recording tells you more about an art museum exhibit. Ballas thinks these codes will be mainstream in the next few years. Magazines, buses, taxi cab signs, business cards, letterhead, t-shirts. They're going to be everywhere. Bella says they're already everywhere in Japan because the technology has been in use for 10 years. The person shopping for groceries can walk up to a head of lettuce, scan the QR code that's on that lettuce, and know instantly which farm it came from, was it organic, were there pesticides used, when the head of lettuce was picked, when it was deployed in the grocery store, when it was put out on the shelf. It may be years before we see QR codes on store shelves. Businesses are slow to use the technology because there are still bugs in it. It is the wild, wild west in QR codes right now. Um, everybody's got their own scanning technology. Everybody's got their own um, QR code generating technology. For example, Ballas scanned this QR code with no problem. But I wasn't as lucky. After Ballas made a few tweaks to the code, got it. my phone accepted it. Businesses won a 0% failure rate, but it's just not happening yet. North Coast didn't want to wait for perfection, and it's an investment the owner says is paying off. The response is uh, like, Wow, you know, it's something that's new in the west side of Cleveland. Many can monitor the number of scans each day through a computer program. Most days, it's even easier than that. You know, a lot of customers I see through my camera system, and uh, they're, you know, peeking through the window and uh, scanning it. Once consumers see a scan in action, it piques their interest. Oh, that's pretty cool. I will be looking after them. The Downtown Cleveland Alliance hopes to have these QR codes in restaurants and businesses throughout downtown by mid-March. If you see one at a restaurant, you can see the menu right on your phone or you can cash in on a discount. The Alliance is hoping to offer it to downtown businesses free of charge. I really like this whole concept, so I want you to tell people out there with their smartphones right now, okay, what are some of the best apps? that work that's really the best for this one there's a lot of them but you really need to make sure that it works because some of them do work some of them don't so you have to test them out mm -hmm. we have them listed on newsnet5.com make sure you get one with a history so you don't have to keep going up and rescanning yeah because that can get tiresome <laughs> right <laughs> all right it's time to put you to work now you have all the information it's time for you to crack the code grab your smartphone and we want you to head to newsnet5.com on the home page in the top story section Look for the headline with QR code in it. Click on the link, and that will take you to not one, but two quick response codes. Wave your smartphone over the code and see what's behind it. If for some reason it doesn't work, just print the page, and let me tell you, you'll be glad that you did. I'm going to say it again. You'll be glad that you did.